Well, in 2011, we continued to water all of our acres. And this year, if it keeps continuing the way it is, we will learn to, to pull back and either go half pivots or, or a portion of our irrigated, continue calling it irrigated so that we can maximize our irrigation with smaller acres. Uh, in 11, we just tried to uh, get that water to go as far as we could and we couldn't do it. And so therefore, in every field, we had low yields versus just staying what we're planning on doing this time and, and staying in that uh, smaller irrigated plots or, or half pivots. Uh, another thing that we learned uh, in 2011 is that uh, the folks that did cut off early probably made just as much yield as we did continue on. So uh, we were either losing too much of our water from evaporation or that water that we were applying, it was just so hot that we wasn't doing anything for the crop. Yes, I've been utilizing some field net uh, technology on my pivots. It's been able to let me monitor my irrigation better. It's been able to let me water half the pivots at a time or sections with a variable rate irrigation. I also put up a new pivot this year with drops over 40 inches instead of the 80, trying to maximize the water flow that I have to the land and be more efficient. And what I've seen during my pre-irrigation, and currently we have planted that pivot and watering it up, I'm seeing a better application in this lower heat and humidity. So at the end of the year, I'm excited to see if that uh, change in my pivot strategy on the way we nozzled that pivot uh, will pay.